you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at taxation for partnership first of all we shall start by defining what a partnership is a partnership is described by the income tax act as an association of persons carrying on business for profit in normal understanding a partnership it's when different people come together two or more they come together to form a business with the main aim of making a profit. So a partnership is described by the Income Tax Act as an association of persons carrying on business for profit. Like very like more than one person. They come together so that they can carry on business for a profit. Yeah, it's therefore worth noting that a partnership is not a separate legal entity from the partners who constitute it. A partnership is not like a company. A partnership, even when it is registered by the registrar, it still it is not a separate legal entity. Like the partners have unlimited liability. Partners have unlimited liability in that in case a business is having debts and it cannot pay it, partners are liable to pay business debts. So they are liable even to business debts. So a partnership business is not different from its partners. Yeah, they are. They are the same. It's the same person. Yeah. So a partnership business is not a separate legal entity, and and this future it it helps when we are taxing the partnership incomes. Yeah, it guides us during taxation of partnerships. The, the, the fact that a partnership is not a separate legal entity, it guides in the taxation of the partnership income. Partnerships are formed by agreement, and the agreement can be either a written agreement or oral agreement. Yeah, and partnerships are mainly in small and medium businesses and are mainly formed by professional people. For example, accountants can come together to form an accounting firm or an audit firm. Yeah. Then lawyers can come together to form a law firm, engineers, doctors, like that. So let, let's look at the features of a partnership, how a partnership is supposed to look like or how it looks like. First is that a partnership allows pooling of skills, abilities and financial resources of two or more individuals. Where there is a partnership, there is a pool like different people come together and when they come together, they create a pool. Like they all have different abilities, different talent different resources yeah so they, they 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 come together and they form a business yeah so where there, there is a partnership there is pooling of skills abilities and financial resources of two or more individuals because a partnership cannot be for one person then another future is that partners have unlimited liability for the debts of the partnership yeah it's what we said that in case a business is having debts, partners are liable to pay those debts in case the business can't pay it. Yeah, the debts, like business debts are partners' debts. Yeah, but, but partners have unlimited liability. Another feature is that a partnership lacks continuity if one of the partners dies or if one of the partners retires, the partnership has to be dissolved so that it can be renewed in case they want it to continue. Yeah, but in case one of the partners goes out of business or in case they die, in case they leave, yeah, or they are fired, the existing partnership has to be dissolved and then they renew the partnership. Another feature is that entry of a new partner also leads to dissolution of the existing partnership. In case a new member is admitted into the partnership, they have to dissolve the existing one so that they can renew it. 
another future is that a partnership is not a separate legal entity we already looked at that according to the law a partnership and the partners they are seen as a single unit yes so it it, it means that a partnership cannot a partnership business it cannot own property on its own yeah and it cannot be sued and it cannot sue Since a partnership is not a separate legal entity from its partners, no income tax is levied on the net income of the partnership, but rather the tax is levied on the on the on the profit that is earned by each partner. It's what is taxed, not the net the net profit of the partnership. Yeah. And a partnership is deemed to be a resident partnership for your income. If at any time during that year of income a partner in the partnership was a resident person.